Hi there, it's James from Twinkle and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at some of the maths board games available on the Twinkle website. From multiplication to fractions, place value to money, Twinkle have an extensive range of maths themed board games which can be easily included or adapted to fit any maths lesson. On Twinkle there is a range of Mathopoly board games to choose from. This particular one is the change from £10 version. This pack comes with an A3 and an A4 version of the board game, a scoreboard as well as challenge cards and chance cards and finally a certificate for the winner. For those who need that extra support, why not have some real life money next to them to help them work out the change. For this game, children go around the board gaining points as each question is answered correctly with the extra element of the fun challenge and chance cards. They then use the scorecard to add up their score along the way and it's the person who gets to 51st that becomes the winner. Use this fun and engaging game to practice and reinforce knowledge of grid coordinates. This game is perfect for maths rotations or morning activities. It aligns to curriculum outcomes and engages children in a fun and interesting way. Children can play in small groups, in pairs or even individually. After playing a round or two they could start adapting the current rules. For instance, when landing on a star instead of doing nothing, the child could create their own mathematical challenge cards or even have some printed from the Twinkle website. This board game is the Snakes and Ladders with 2, 3, 4 and 5 times tables. This is a fun twist on a much loved classic board game. Children work their way up to the top of the board trying to reach the ladders and avoiding the snakes whilst also answering timetable questions along the way. Another way to add an extra element to this game would be to alter the questions slightly to test their place value knowledge. Such as instead of asking what is 2 times 8, why not ask what is 2 times 80 or 20 times 8 or even 20 times 80. This game would be a great activity for children to get some times tables practice in or even if they need that extra boost when they get home. These board games are also differentiated by having several different types of the same game with different multiplications for those who need that extra challenge and for those who still are working on these times tables. The Word Problems board game comes with a selection of chance cards as you can see here. For this game you could use a standard die, or if you don't have a die, there are several printable dice available on the Twinkle website. A possible alternative to not having a die would be for each counter to move forward one space each go. This would mean the pupils have more problem solving questions to answer, giving them an extra challenge in the lesson. This game also comes with a really useful answer sheet for parents and teachers to quickly answer each question. For each question, pupils could record their answers in their books, showing evidence of learning throughout the whole lesson. So I hope this video has helped to inspire you to use a mathematical board game in your next math lesson. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.